up guys, Ivan K here. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use this VR headset for smartphone to play VR games on your PC. To make this guide to be as quick as possible, as simple as possible, let me list out all the things that you need in order to play VR using this VR headset to play the VR games on your PC. Now you need a VR headset for smartphone, you need a smartphone for at least 5 inches screen, and also you need a computer that can play VR games and also there are a couple of software that you need to download on your phones and also on your PC. Now let's check it out. Alright, so in order for you guys to play VR games on your PC using a smartphone, uh, all you need to do is to install these two software on your computers and there's one more software that you need to download on your phone in which I'm going to show you later. But uh, in the PC, all you need to download is this these two files so I'm providing the link, the link in the description so you can go to this kinovr.kinoni.com to download this um, the Kino VR software so that you can run the setup for the Kino VR apps on your phone and also this website here will download the desktop side-by-side -side software in which it will create a side-by-side -side photos uh, I will show you why you need to download this one right so for this one you need to download this version alright just double click this one and then it will automatically download all the files and everything and then just simply install that and also this one you download this download Kino VR drivers for PC right just download this one and then it's just going to automatically download it and then just install it as easy as that now on your smartphone if you're using Apple go to the App Store if you're using Android go to the Play Store and download the Kino VR Alright, now that you have downloaded all of the software on your phone and also on your PC, now let's get it and set up things. Now all you need to do is either connect both of your PC and your phone to the same Wi-Fi network or perhaps using a hotspot from your phone connecting with the PC or perhaps just use a regular USB cable. Uh, for iPhone, you use a lightning cable. For Android, you use USB cable. And then just USB tethering with your PC so that it will have a stable connection with it. Alright, so next, once you've already downloaded the Kino VR software and also the desktop side-by-side -side software, all you need to do is to install that software and then run Kinoni Streamer first. Alright, so run Kinoni Streamers first. So once this pop-up come up, don't worry, just press yes. Alright, so in here, you don't need to bother about everything. All you need to bother is this VR setting, alright? So this setting will set up the VR experience inside of your phone so that you will have the most compatible and the most comfortable feeling while you're playing the VR headset. Alright, so here is the option for head tracking. Now in case you guys didn't know what head tracking is, so the special features for a VR headset so that uh, when you move your head up and down, it feels like you're actually looking up and down inside the game. Alright, so in the head tracking axis mapping here, so you need to like map the mouse movement as same as like you're moving your phone up and down due to the gyroscope that is built inside of your smartphone alright so in order for you to enable this option all you need to do is just disable this option here and then for pitch here you set it to mouse X while this option you set it to the mouse Y at the sensitivity bar here you can slide from left to the right according to your sensitivity of your head movement and here the mouse acceleration in order for you guys to have a smooth move head movement uh, I suggest for you to disable this mouse acceleration right so for this button here the image distance adjustment when you press the adjust it will show you this image and this image will shown in full screen inside of your phone and make sure your phone is already connected and also has already opened the Kino VR apps so that we show this image and we'll set up the image for you guys to have the most immersive image inside of your smartphone right and in case uh, and if you notice that inside of this uh, the Kino VR apps it doesn't show a duplication of photos inside of the smartphone but instead it's just like putting a split bar a black bar in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the screen so actually in order for you to experience VR it needs to have at least a dual duplication of photos side by side right so that's the problem with it uh, with this uh, with this apps so what you need to do is 
to run the other program that you have already downloaded, which is the desktop side by side, right? So when uh, when you run this program, you notice that your desktop has turned side by side, right? So as you can see, instead of your instead of your phone, it will show you a side by side image in full screen rather than actually showing like uh, like a little rectangle on your uh, on your smartphone because in order for you to feel like you're actually immerse, uh, emerging inside of the uh, inside of the VR you need to have a large image on the screen right so when you run this desktop side by side it will show you this full immersive image so now that you have set up all of the things that you need to do in order for you guys to play these PC games in VR on your smartphone, now it's just time for you to sit back, relax, and enjoy this VR experience.